Hey friends, in the previous video we have seen how to deploy McAfee agent on client machines. Now in this video we will see about product deployment on all client machines which is managed by the McAfee ePolicy Orchestrator. For the product deployment you need to log on the ePolicy Orchestrator and enter the correct details. After validating of your correct details, so you have just entered in your ePolicy Orchestrator. Now click on the menu options. Here there is a tab that is Client Task and Client Task Catalog. Because product deployment can be possible on all machines through creating a client task. Client task can be created on clicking on the Client Task Catalog. Here you can see there are the different kind of client task types are visible because my task is related to the product deployment so I need to select the product deployment task type. After that you need to click on the new task because this is the default task type which is selected. You can change it as per your requirement. After selecting this one you need to click on OK and assign a task name. A task name must be uh, meaningful because it may be if you have created multiple tasks in your organizations for different purpose so it will be easier for you to identify the task by their name. I am just assigning the task correct task name that is ENS deployment task even you can assign the description and uh, select the target platform. The task with where it will be executed, you must be select a, a proper uh, operating system platform over here because this task is related to Windows. So I have just selected the Windows task because it will come with the default option. You can change it as per your requirement. Now uh, come on the product uh, and component. The products which will be deployed on the client machine through this task, you need to select this one. And uh, you even you can select more product as well by clicking on add option. In my case, I am just deploying threat prevention and uh, web control as well. If you want to remove any of the products, so just click on delete option by clicking on the sign in delete. Now I am just clicking on save option. The task has been created and it is visible in the task list. Here it is the name of task and the owner of the task and uh, if you want to delete this task so just you can click on delete and uh, if you want to make the dupli duplicate task of this particular task so just click on duplicate by clicking on the duplicate option and uh, even you can assign this task to any subgroups on ePolicy Orchestrator from here as well uh, because you can assign this task from here but it can be assigned from system tree as well. In my case I am just assigning this task to operation team from here. This is the machine. Now assign client tasks option. New client task assignment either you can assign this task from here but you can also do the same by clicking on the action option in the new new client task assignment this is similar now after clicking on the task assignment uh, I can see it is just asking about the McAfee product and task type because my task type is product deployment once I click over here so I can see the product deployment task which I earlier created uh, 
in the client task catalog is visible. Now you can lock the task inheritance and uh, tags. This is related to uh, like workstation or server because this is this task will be for uh, all computers. So this is default selected and schedule type. I mean when you want to execute this task on the client machine. This is the schedule type. You can select this one because I want to execute this task immediately. Once a system comes in this particular subgroup, so the task will be executed immediately. The task is enabled. Now I am going to click on save option. I can see the task which is assigned to this particular subgroup is visible over here. You can assign uh, more and more tasks from here and all the tasks will be visible in the assigned client task list. Now we will see on this machine how this task will work to going on the client machine. Once I come back on the client machine I need to just click on the agent option from here. Currently I can see there is not a single product has been installed only McAfee agent is visible over here. I need to go on the McAfee agent status monitor and verify that if any tasks are received by the agent from the ePolicy server. See once I click on the check new policy so the task is coming over here. This is the name ENS deployment task and in this task we have already uh, assigned a three product deployment that is McAfee threat prevention, McAfee common and McAfee web control. So after executing this task we will see how the product has been deployed on this machine. So no need to always do the check new policies on all client machines. You can do the same by going on ePolicy orchestrator and uh, uh, once system will come on this particular subgroup so it will be executed on the next communications or you can select this machine or select the select multiple machines from here and just you can wake up agents you can run the wake up agent from here and force complete policy and task update so this will just wake up the agent and it will ask the uh, McAfee agent to execute all the task and policies which are currently assigned to this particular subgroup so uh, so this is the this is the correct way to deploying the task to executing the task on all client machines because if you will execute a task if you will enforce the policy from every machine so it will take more and more time or to executing the the policies on multiple machines now we can see that the task is going to be finished over here still it is just uh, downloading the product and uh, installing the product as well I need to just verify the product by clicking on the McAfee agent now I can see there are the difference uh, earlier we were just looking only McAfee agent but now I can see McAfee endpoint security tab is also visible it means something has been installed on this client machine. The product has been not, uh, not installed but uh, only few tabs are visible. I need to just wait over here. I guess uh, McAfee threat prevention has been installed and currently it is just deploying the web control. This all activities are performing under this particular agent monitor tab. I 
need to just verify this one. Again, I click on the McAfee endpoint security. Now I can see both product has been installed successfully. So this is the current, uh, this is the way to deploying the, uh, to deploying the product by uh, client task from the e-policy orchestrator. This is really very helpful way to deploying product on uh, multiple machines when you have uh, uh, 200 or 500 or moreover 1000 of machines or 6000 of machines in your environment. So McAfee ePolicy Orchestrator provides a best way to deploying this through a client task creation. Thank you for watching this video.